In Psalm 5, David refers to God as his king. David, of course, was a king. He was familiar with kings, with how they operated, with what they were supposed to do. It's the world that they lived in. I, I am not as familiar with kings, as familiar with kings as David was. When I, when, I, when I think of kings, the first king that pops into my mind is King Friday. You know who King Friday was? King Friday wasn't even a real king. He was a puppet. He was on the, the show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And Mr. Rogers would take us into the land of make-believe and there would be, there would be King Friday, the, the king. And I don't remember that King Friday ever did too many kingly things, but, but that's, that's who I think of. But, but when, I think, when I think of the concept of a king, I think, Somebody that's supposed to make you feel safe. That's what a king is supposed to do. Make you feel safe. And we don't always feel that way. We don't. We, we often feel the opposite. We feel, we feel scared. Or timid. Vulnerable. but not safe. And does that mean that God's not a good king? If we sometimes don't feel safe under his rule? No, not at all. He's a great king. But Jesus himself, he reminded us of one particular aspect of his kingdom and his kingship that we need to remember as we continue to live here. He was talking with Pilate, and Pilate wanted to be, he was intrigued by Jesus, and he had heard that he was a king, and he wanted to be impressed by him. So he asked him, well, well where are you from, and where's, where's your kingdom? And he's probably wondering, where are, your, where, are you, where are your soldiers and your subjects who are going to come and defend you? Because there weren't any. It was just him. And Pilate was baffled because it didn't, it didn't click. He had some sort of following, but, but nobody was there to defend him. Jesus, that is. He seemed to be able to do an incredible things. That's what he had heard about him. But, but he stood there in front of him, looking so weak and helpless. What kind of king is that? And Jesus reminded him. He said, Pilate, my kingdom... It's not of this world. My kingdom is in another place. So that's where I really belong. Of course, the other place he was talking about was, well, it's, it's heaven, a place of perfection, a place where, a place where everybody's eyes are always focused on the king and they love him because he loves them. Jesus was saying his kingdom is in another place. There's another place where he fits a little bit more easily. It's not, it's not this world of sin. It's not this world of brokenness and pain. And it's not just him that fits better there. It's you. Your kingdom is not of this world. Jesus was there in front of Pilate and then there on the cross to make you a member of his kingdom with no hoops to jump through for you. No demands for a cost that you would need to pay. Jesus paid the cost to bring you into a kingdom that your eyes have not yet seen. I think in some ways your heart knows that it exists because we cry out for it so often. But we've never experienced it. We walk through life sometimes and we get a good sense of the important things that are missing. But one day they won't be. One day they won't be. One day you will feel safe 
with your King. And every day until then, because Jesus has already promised you that no one can snatch you out of his hand. You really already are always safe with him. Always. Even today. Rest well tonight, my friends. <laughs>